back in February, we told you how the D.C. public schools, like many others, were attempting to brainwash our kids with a BLM week of action. But that was just the beginning. Now, a source telling the Ingram Angle that our nation's capital is mandating that teachers go on a nearly eight-hour-long anti-racism journey brought to you by Microsoft. This requires teachers to endure twisted video lectures. Here are a few examples. You learned your English, your Spanish, your Dutch, your Portuguese, your German. You learned our nothing. You called us stupid. That's white privilege. This isn't even your nation. How the hell do you discover some sh that wasn't even missing to begin with? I had been raised to believe that the way to be a good, not racist, white person was to not see color, which is unhelpful. Oh my God, here is Carol Swain, former Princeton and Vanderbilt professor, author of Be the People, A Call to Realism, Re Reclaim America's Faith and Promise. Carol, that is quite stunning. That's just nicking the surface of this trip. I tripe. watched some of those videos and I lost some IQ points as a result. Mm. Now, your thoughts on this. What, what, we're teaching our schools to ingest this then spit it back out to the kids. Well, you know, it's very interesting because the D.C. school system, the students are 67 percent black, 50 percent of the teachers are black, and only 30 percent white. And so I don't know why they would mandate this training. And I was wondering, is it for all the teachers or is it just for the white teachers? They are a minority. And if it's for all the teachers, it gives the black teachers excuses for the failing students and then the white teachers, they're using the social emotional learning indoctrination on the teachers themselves so that they can become more self-aware and they can deal with uh, the uh, emotional part. There's a lot of psychology in it and it's real manipulation and indoctrination. And it's very troubling. It's all well, Dr. Swain, here's another video that we're told the D.C. teachers are forced to watch during this journey to truly becoming more anti-racist. Talking to kids about race needs to happen early, often, and honestly. I'm going to talk to you about intersectionality. They don't understand how what this is actually meaning. Every single part that's in you has to make you you. The training then asks about ways to teach young students about becoming anti-racist. It says you should teach about BLM's guiding principles, read books by different writers. They're all left wing. Introduce topics like empathy, how to name their emotions. Dr. Swain, uh, you saw the thing on intersectionality, the thing on white privilege and fragility. Um, how is this teaching any of these kids how to survive in an increasingly competitive global economy? Well, first of all, it when they focus on the nonsense that they're teaching in schools, the students are not learning academics. And so they're failing, they're falling further behind, they're not learning how to read and write and be competitive in the world. And so it's really a way to take down America. It is critical race theory that is rooted in Marxism. It's not about uh, helping the students to thrive, no matter what their race, and it really harms Americans, all Americans. Dr. Swain, thank you.